hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi welcome make sure you go and hit the subscribe button down below so today i'm going to be showing you guys how i edit my thumbnails for my youtube videos and i've been wanting to film this for a while and i figured out like my perfect apps that i like to use and just little tips and tricks that you can do for your thumbnails and it's stuff that i've definitely learned it didn't take me it didn't like happen right away when i first started my youtube channel i had to go through a lot of trial and error to try to figure out how i like them or even how to like create templates or the right dimensions the right sizes um so i definitely want to share that with you because i feel like a lot of people don't really like to share what they use um i don't know why but i definitely would love to share with you guys if you guys you know want to create a youtube channel or have a youtube channel already and are struggling with that these these apps are definitely useful and you can do a lot of stuff on them um it just takes a lot of practice and playing around to get used to it but once you start like playing around with it you will get the hang of it and it's super easy and yeah so let's just get right into the video i hope you guys enjoy and i'm going to be screen recording so you guys can see exactly what i'm doing and all of that stuff so i'm gonna have it pop up on the screen so let's start the screen record first i'm going to show you guys the apps that i use so starting going into my youtube um folder here the apps that you're going to use are fonto this one with the p and the little pencil thing and then you're going to want to use well so you're going to use fonto right but afterwards when we're done editing the thumbnail and stuff you can technically like you can import it on your computer but what i do it's st still the same thing is i use youtube studio so you're also going to need that i don't use that to edit my thumbnails but that's definitely the last step um to putting your thumbnail out there so that's the first app fonto the second app is pixart definitely a big one and then um i already talked about like how i edit my instagram pictures and also how i edit my instagram pictures is how i edit my photos that i put into my thumbnails so if you want to check that video out i'll have a pop-up on the screen but i do use tezza and facetune and like this goes sometimes to edit my pictures that i'm going to be using to put into my thumbnails so if you want to see that video go check it out um i'm not going to talk about how i edit the photos but i'm going to be showing you guys how i put them together so i literally only use really two apps fonto and pixart those are literally like the only apps i use and they're so great and useful they're both free i know pixart you can get like a premium version if you want to use like certain stickers and pictures to add but i just use the regular free one i feel like i don't need the premium but if you were somebody who wants to check it out they also have that so i wanted to start off by telling you guys the apps and now I'm going to actually go into Fonto and show you guys how I start my um, editing the thumbnail. So Fonto I basically use to create the template and the sizing and then I put the pictures all on Fonto and also I put in the text. Sometimes I add in emojis but all the emojis and all of the extra little photos, clip arts, all of that stuff I do on Pixart. So first when you enter fo um, Fonto you want to click, you can click anywhere on the screen but I just click the little camera in the middle and you want to click plain image you want to click the black box on the left and then where the dimensions are on the top you just click on it click custom and the youtube thumbnail dimensions are 1280 by 720 so you just want to type that in yourself and it's super great that you can custom it because i used to try to like make make it and just try to like squeeze it it was just a hot mess so after you get this part done you want to click on the top right the little button so you can click use and save and now you're ready to use it so i click these little three buttons on the side and then you want to add image so so usually all of my images that i would that i have finished editing i usually just favorite them so that i can like easily find them so a lot of these are like thumbnails or pictures that i'm going to post on instagram so for my previous um let's say i was doing like my college day in my life or something Usually I just pick a picture of me, so I'm just going to like create a random one. I didn't technically use these um, all together, but so let's say I wanted to take this picture of me. I'll click done, and then it depends how many pictures you want to use. So I'm going to do three for this one, just, just because this picture is vertical instead of horizontal. If I have them all horizontal, you can do four. Sometimes they do that as well. But for this one, since this picture is tall and vertical, I'll do three pictures. I'm going to go in and add my other two. So I'm going to add this one, 
I'm gonna go back and then add my next one so now I have all three pictures here so now I'm going to go to the size and I'm gonna increase the size so that it fits how I like it you just honestly you have to play around with it so like if I were to make it really really big it would obviously cut me off so you have to play around with it so if I put it like this I don't need this extra space that's like the wall in the picture so I can move it over a bit like so it's kind of like towards the middle and then I will increase the pictures size for the other two and make them fit so something like that so when you want to save it you just click the button on the bottom right and click save image so when you saved it successfully you just click OK, a little ad pops up. Alright, and then you're going to click again the little um, camera thing icon on the bottom. Click photo albums and you just want to open it from your photo albums. So once you have it up here, you just click done on the top right. And then you click the three little icons on the bottom. And you want to, or no, you don't do that, sorry. You want to click anywhere on the picture and click add text. So here there's so many different texts. You go into fonts and you can just scroll and play with however you want it to look. Sometimes you could change it up on each thumbnail. Sometimes I change mine up or sometimes I like to keep a specific theme of fonts for that same video. Um, or depending on the video, I'll change it up like I just said. So I'm going to just type in, so let's say I was doing a college day in my life. I just type in college. Oh, I don't think I spelled it. College, change the font, whatever, just play around with it. And then text again, day in my life. This one, I'll do like a script or something. So you can literally just play around with it. And then once you have it open, like the text, there's so many different things. You can tilt it, you can make it, you know, if you want it to be a little slanted. However your little aesthetic or vibe that you're going for in your videos, everyone is different and it's really nice to have your own little style and own touch to your videos. You can also curve it, sometimes I do that just to give it a little bit of a different look. And then as far as color, style, you go into the style icon and then you just can play around with the text color. Sometimes I usually leave it white. You can add the stroke outline, make it thicker by like increasing the width. So sometimes you could do that. Um, sometimes you can add a little background to it. So sometimes I can do um, my text in black and then the background in white. Like this. After, you can just play around with that. I usually also go into style and you can see the letter A's on the bottom. That is like a little bit of, you can do like a little glow behind the picture. Just make it look a little bit 3D. You can space out the letters, which is really cool. Really anything you can have it underlined um also what i like to do in style is with the alpha i put it all the way so it kind of gives it that little bit of um a, a 3d look so it makes it stand out because if i just left it white it would kind of blend in and you won't be able to read it correctly so you know you just literally can play around with it but let's say i do this make the width a little big and then once you have this you can even add emojis um from your keyboard by itself so let's say I wanted to add let's say I wanted to add like hmm, where is it I can add a pencil you know because it's like a college day and then you would just take it and you can increase the size of it by going to size and increase you literally just have to play around with it and move it around so that's basically an overview of what I do on Fonto and then once you have Let's say I didn't want to do the emoji. I'm going to erase the emoji because I'm going to show you how I do emojis on the other app. So once you have this, you can just click save again. So once you're done saving it, you're going to now go into PixArt. So when you open PixArt, I think you have to create like an account. I'm not sure if I did or not. But either way, you don't have to pay. So just you can always skip that part. So you just click the little plus sign on the middle. Import the picture you just saved. From your photos and then you want to see on the bottom there's so many things you can do you can add effects to your picture i mean like to the thumbnail picture i don't usually i don't usually do that 
um, but you can add stickers, which is such a great thing. I'm telling you right now, like it's so nice. You can search up different things like school, aesthetic. I don't know. You can literally just play with it. If you want to add like a little backpack, just literally whatever aesthetic you want. Stars. A lot of people like to put little stars in the background. Just makes it look aesthetically pleasing. Like you want somebody to click on your thumbnail. So you want to make it look as nice as possible and the way that you like it it's most important to have it the way you like it because that's you that's your um it's like your ideas all into one and you don't want to do too much sometimes i don't like depending on the video you don't want to do too much because then it's like too cram packed and looks just overwhelming so you can add like little stars if you want to like add something to it and just play around with it as much as you want literally anything and I just love this app and you can also even add photos if you wanted to add a photo of something you can do that like overlay on top um, what else do I do here you can also add text here but I like the text on the other one so really depends another thing that I like on this one is if you go to brushes you can also add like little sparkles so it's really cool you can just play around with this app a lot add a little bit of a different vibe to it so that is what I use this app for like when I did my Starbucks holiday drinks I used this app to find in the stickers I would search up like Starbucks logo and then I would just take this and apply it to the picture so I did that one for my Starbucks video so there's so many great things in here um, it's really really a good fun app you just play around with it and find whatever you like to add for your vibe so definitely give these two apps a try so then once you're done with that you want to you can go into YouTube studio and so let's say this video that I did with the um, with the Christmas gift guide you click the little um, pencil and then you just click on top on the thumbnail and you click custom and you go to your photo albums and you just hit like you just go to your photo albums and pick the f um, thumbnail after you finish saving it and it fits perfectly it's the right dimensions and it's just perfect so these are the best apps that I've found you create the dimensions you create the text you size up the images how you like it to fit perfectly for like the way you like it and then there's so many different fonts, color styles to choose from. Literally the best apps. I am obsessed with them and they're like my go-to. I'm like so used to it now. I just go in and I know which fonts I'm looking for. You know, just play around with the colors and it's really, really useful. So I hope you guys found this video useful and it'll help you create your thumbnails. Also comment down below if you have any other cool apps. Maybe people will be interested in trying out other apps and myself as well. So definitely leave them down below. And let me know if you guys try out these apps for yourself if you have a YouTube channel. And yeah, if you did, give, if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my other videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.